Hello everybody, it's Tinger Splash back with another video here today and uh, a few steelbooks to show you um, a couple of new ones, a couple of uh, replacements which you might have seen from my last video which I entitled When DHL Workers Attack um, This one's called When Amazon Workers Don't Do Their Freaking Job um, but we'll, we'll get to that later on So I have a few uh, steelbooks to show The first one is actually a DVD steelbook I just got today from Amazon Germany and it took a couple of days to arrive perfect condition, it's brand new and sealed and that is Gamer, it was only 7 euros so I thought, uh, you know uh, I like the film, it's a cool steel box so I'll grab that for, uh, for 7 euros, it's about 5-6 five, five, quid something like that so uh, it's just a single disc obviously and I've already got the, the Blu-ray so I probably won't bother with this DVD but it's always nice to get uh, cheap editions for the collection hopefully you can see this, I've uh, come back into the living room today because my kitchen's a bit of a mess at the moment so um, hopefully this will do and I'm thinking about doing more of my DVD steelbooks uh, in more depth because I think my old steelbook videos when I was just showing my DVD steelbooks it was I think they were all sealed up um, so I just showed the front and back whereas I didn't really go into them much and you know didn't show the inside artwork or anything that might be underneath the back of any data sheets so I think I might be doing like more in-depth DVD steelbook book because I'm sure there's some people out there who still do like DVD steelbooks there's, there's got to be some of us left so this next one this is a Canadian steelbook but I didn't purchase it from Amazon because I actually wanted it to arrive in good condition um, so I got this on uh, the AV forums uh, £13.50 delivered from the same guy who I bought uh, Blade Runner from it's 2001 a space obviously really nice clear cover and a nice simple back as well and then we have the disc inside some nice standard artwork there and uh, this is one of the Canadian steels that isn't due for a re-release because uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out now in the UK um, someone mentioned the other day that with all the steel books that are, are now uh, announced and to come out before the end of this year um, it means that in the UK alone in 2012 from January to December there will be over 100 Blu-ray Steelbook releases which is crazy absolutely crazy um, that's twice as more as we've ever had before um, you know we've only just gone past the 100 Steelbooks total that have ever been released in this country Blu-ray wise and, and by the end of the year there's going to be another 50 odd um, it looks like because this is one of the ones that is uh, being announced to Troy this is the Canadian Steelbook but a lot of Warner Brothers uh, steelbooks are being released over here um, st we're still not sure what the artwork will be if it's just an identical copy to this or if it's going to be um, the German Digibook editions because it's uh, being released as the Warner Brothers Premium Collection but there's Troy, there's Heat, there's Blade Runner, there's The Matrix um, a lot of steelbooks I've just bought recently so I'm very, very annoyed because um, even if they, and I think 300's in there as well, even if they're not the same artwork um, I don't know if I want to really be double dipping uh, so I'll probably end up selling all of these ones and getting the UK ones to keep up my 100% complete UK collection but this is the Trice Director's Cut, this is the replacement because if you remember my last video it was uh, absolutely wrecked, the original um, if I'll just get it for a second, two seconds anyone who didn't see that video um, this was the original one um, which is absolutely messed up big time um, but I'm not going to unseal the uh, the other one I'm not going to unseal this one because I'm going to sell it and get the UK version when that comes out um, but at least I know what the artwork looks like now uh, on this one but I mean as I said I have no clue what to do with this and uh, the other one that I got today and this is the reason why Amazon workers have to be shot sometimes. Um, the Polar Express, uh, this one is a returned item. Someone returned this because it was damaged and then they sent it to me as a replacement. It's unbelievable. Um, so it looks okay, but you'll notice there's pen writing on there. It says U16B3 or something. Um, there's damage at the bottom where the seals come away um, it's it, in generally a dirty condition as well which you probably can't really see um, also the steelbook is slightly warped you can see that probably not actually it doesn't look that bad from, from here um, 
but I have basically given up. It is slightly warped. Um, so yeah, it actually, it actually sort of goes inwards slightly at this point here. Um, the other one only had a little ding, but uh, anyway, I've given up on it, so they've now given me a refund. So I've got two Polar Express steelbooks uh, and one Troy steelbook for free, but uh, that you know I don't know really what to do with them. Certainly this one will probably just get binned. I might just keep the dinged, slightly dinged, other Polar Express, but this one there's really not a lot I can do with it. I mean they don't want it back. Um, I'll tell you what, should we? We'll unseal it. Why not? For some reason this video has let me uh, record it over ten minutes now. For some reason before it wasn't let me do that. That's fair enough. Um, so uh, let's unseal this and see if the damage is really that bad. Because let's face it, no one's going to want to buy a damaged steel book, whether it's sealed or not. Maybe it won't look as bad once they've opened it. Two seconds. Have a look at the Monsters Inc. Let's just take this cardboard off. Of course, you will have noticed it is a rattler. It's never a good thing. Let's open this up. See if there's any damage inside. Um, the disc itself. Don't you don't look at me. Um, looks fine. You know, it's it's, it's a nice steel book. It's just it's annoying that it's got so many problems. Um, and it's, it's it's really hard to actually see the issue. I'm trying to show it as best I can, but it is it's not that bad really. Um, maybe it's just over the last few weeks I've had that many damaged items after having years of no, no damage I'm starting to get a bit OCD about it I know a lot of steelbook collectors are um, and I wouldn't mind but I can't even you know make one good steelbook out of the two because in both cases the slight damage is to the front and not the back um, so I can't just take the front and back off and you know replace them but it's, I guess it's not too bad actually that I probably uh, made it out from worse than it is and Obviously the pen mark is, is luckily only on the plastic, it hasn't come through the actual disc itself, so I might, might have, uh, I don't know, uh, oh actually you know what, there's a significant, you, you might, can you see that actually, it's, sorry about being dark in here, yeah can you just see that there, just about, I'm not sure with your finger, uh, yeah just about, nope I can't do it, I don't, just about there you'll see actually there is a, a significant amount of damage there so I, I'm just avoiding getting the uh, the money back but um, it's just a shame I mean what am I supposed to do with these things you know I guess I could just sell them as standard Blu-rays uh, I don't know but it's just a shame so it's put me off to be honest buying from Canada now I'm not going to bother there is others that I wanted but to be perfectly honest um, you know they'll probably all come out in the UK anyway with the ones that have been released, uh, I think Inception is another one that's coming out. Um, I Am Legend, you know, anything that I've ordered recently seems to be coming out in the UK. Um, you know, we've got the really nice uh, Ghostbusters coming out, and uh, Evil Dead, which looks awesome, um, and Hellboy, and there's a new ITV wave coming out as well, with Shawshank Redemption, uh, Company of Wolves, which will be a, a double dip, because I've already got the DVD steel, uh, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, and they're all double players. Uh, so there's a, so many steelbooks coming out, it's ridiculous. And obviously this week, there's a few coming out. Um, I'll have a video very shortly, hopefully Saturday, with the Iron Man steels, which I'm just can't wait to get them. And I just hope against hope that they're perfect. Um, although I'm a little annoyed annoyed that they're only one disc is, um, but I think that's the way it goes. So we yeah, I'll have a video on them. I should also have a video for uh, Pitch Black, um, Bone Trilogy. And what are the other ones that are coming out? Serenity and The Thing. They're all play exclusives. So there'll be videos for all of them. Uh, I'll probably do individual videos. That way the Iron Man one can be number 100. I want to make that the special 100th video for this channel. So anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, thanks again for watching uh, this video, all my videos. And uh, there will be more soon. Uh, so until next time, take care everyone.